There he is. is. Charlie Carbs and Cycling. <laughs> like a race course sped up. Here we go. So you start on the oval, which we missed out. But basically on the way to the circuit, you can see Louis is old ahead of me. We've sped this up because it is a long loop. It's about 16 kilometers with about 100, 150, 200 meters of climbing per lap, I believe. Uh, so we're just cruising along. This is will be potentially neutralized. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but this is before the lap, Tori is on the right side as well, she should be racing, hopefully doing her first race on the weekend, which will be exciting. Uh, so we're just cruising along. This bit, I'm not really sure what, if it will be raced or not, but it's pretty flat, pretty rolling, bit of crosswind action here, but nothing, you know, too crazy. We are cruising along, bit of hills, but like, let's be honest, nothing's really going to happen. I wouldn't be surprised if this is neutralised, because we're going to take a right-hand turn across, um onto the circuit. So the circuit is pretty exciting. I'd say about a third of it is uh, hilly and two thirds of it is pretty flat. Uh, and when I say flat, I mean literally dead flat or if anything, minus 1% or something. So anyway, here you can see, well, this is a good good endurance ride. I am absolutely cooked. I've just done 160K and just fucking died. Um, so sorry about the lack of energy on this commentary. Uh, but anyway, we c you can see here um, that it's, it's pretty flat country. There's a bit of rolling hills. I believe Louis, Louis is going off for a sprint, as he always does. Um, and then, yeah, so, hang on, my, my brain is actually completely gone. That guy decided to try and run us over, but anyway, that was always good. Love people who try and run us over. really does uh, add to the excitement on my bike rides. Uh, so when you take the right-hand corner, I believe the, the finish should be um, up this hill, which is a good laugh for me, because uh, I've, I've got a shocking sprint on the flat, but on the climbs, it can uh, sometimes, a bit of what's Pekio action, can help me out. Uh, so anyway, we're just cruising on 200 watts. Uh, just doing a good endurance ride here. Did about 115k or whatever on this ride. Then we got home, then did Norton's TT, then, you know, all sorts of commuting. And before you know it, we're up 165 for the day. Uh, and a solid day out. Louis here looking pretty pro on the bike, you know, nice, nice position, etc. Charlie, this is fucking shocking. Start this. Anyway. Start uh, this again. Look, I know, sorry. Sorry for the interruption from some angry bloke who's trying to fix his derailleur. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Right, so Gumaraka, uh, three three races for the consolation for the consolation prize uh, for the club championships. Club championships, I believe, is a hundred k long, so that'll be uh, six laps, and the women's race will be three laps as well. Uh, so it will be it'll be weird because the climbing is not really like an, a, enough frequency uh, to actually make it super hard. But there's a decent climb, which maybe one to two minutes long. So you know, if you if you drilled that, you might be able to drop some sprinters. We've got like a decent amount of people riding. Uh, who like in the constellation race? It'll be me, Louis, Austin, and Phil. Uh, so yeah, we're not sure. We might do a bit of team tactics, try and get some breaks happening. I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, it will be good laugh, nonetheless. Uh, if you are watching watching this race, uh, I will have the race high. Uh, highlights so you can see we turn right onto the course here uh, so the course will start here this is basically the finishing climb i believe so it gets up to you know 10 percent at some point or nine percent maybe oh 10 percent here we go 10 percent uh so you know like when you're sprinting this you're probably going like 35 40 k's an hour up here i would predict um and i believe the finish will should be somewhere over this climb just about here i'm not 100 sure because they don't say on the website what it is uh, so then I've got a split in the road, which is a bit odd. I've never seen this in like an, a race before, which would be very strange. Um, but now this is basically a rolling part. Uh, and that climb, I think, it's not really long enough to do damage. But just down here, there's actually a decent amount of decent climb, which maybe, I'd say one or two minutes of race pace. Um, but it, it sort of drags on a little bit over the top, maybe 15 seconds where it's like not completely downhill. Uh, which therefore means that people might actually be able to get dropped there if you really drill it over the top. So you can see now we're starting to climb a little bit, about 1 or 2%. Often the gradient doesn't really pick up 1 or 2% on the bolt, which is a bit annoying. We are climbing slightly, um, and then it's ramping up, up to 5 6%. So you can see here, sorry about the camera shakage. But like, this is still decent, 6%. Like, obviously you're getting a big draft at 5%, because you're probably going 25, 30 k's an hour up here when the, when the race is full gas. Um, but if we're like holding 400 watts up here, um, it gets when it gets up to past like eight nine percent ten percent that's where we will struggle um, and then just over the top of this climb I really think you see the way it's, it starts to get down to four percent but it's not in descent so a lot of people mentally will be like oh yeah it's fine um, but then in reality it's still be struggling and then down this this is a pretty fast descent so if someone's nearing it like th even 300 watts um, it will be hard like very hard to catch back on just because you'll be going pretty much max speed so we're cruising along at like 45 and barely pedaling so it's getting up to 50 k's an hour um so basically this from now on it's all downhill or flat uh, and when i say flat i mean like perfectly straight roads there's only real three corners in the in the course um which is pretty interesting because it means that the technical aspect is pretty much removed 
Uh, there's not really, there's one maybe left hand, that's two, the, both corners are relatively technical. One's a 90 degree and one's like almost a 270 degree, no, 180 degree turn um, almost. And here again, it's rolling. This will just sting the legs a little bit. Um, but the problem is it's just not really enough density of climbing to really hurt people because people will be pretty fresh just sitting in the wheels on the downhill and sitting on the wheels on the flat. So you can see we take this left hander, that will, that will be quite fast, but it should be single fast, so it shouldn't, shouldn't be too dangerous at all. Um, and now we're pretty much on a bit where there was, a, there was quite a strong crosswind coming from the right-hand side of the road. Um, so there might be some potentially some echelons. I'm not really sure there will be, um, but if you've got a strong guy on the front just drilling it and he was just, just trying to get as close as possible, you might be able to get a couple splits further back, um, especially if you rip, really ripped it out that corner. Uh, but anyway, apart from that, this bit is just rolling 2% two, two up here, 4%. And again, not enough climbing on this part of the course in order to cause any splits. This will just be fast. I bet like in my race, see, see the C and D grade, it'll probably just be quite chill down here. Like, you'll just be sitting in the wheels. Some some random bloke will be doing some work on the front, um, and you'll just be chilling out. Uh, it will be be quite nice. Uh, it will be interesting, this race, as well, because they've been a lot longer. Is This is a, lo a lot longer race, so it's about 50K compared to 30 or, th 30 or 35, which are most of the other races. Um, so hopefully that will help me, because I obviously ride a lot more, because... I don't really have a job at the moment, which is good. Uh, so I pretty much ride my bike all day. So I've got, I normally do 15, 20 hour weeks. So hopefully that will help me uh, and some of the other guys who also don't ride a lot and don't work too much. So they'll, they'll have good endurance. So maybe the last half an hour, they'll, they'll be feeling not too tired while a lot of other people will be pretty tired. Again, this is a fast descent, but not technical at all. Um, so it's quite good if you're like a beginner. So I was talking to Tori about this. Um, there's a women's race. So hopefully she'll do that, which would be good. But it's, it's just quite good road racing to begin with. Because a crit is good because, like, obviously you get such intense amount of practice of cornering and stuff. But this is just quite good because there's no actual, um, there's not too many corners. So if you're a bit skeptical, around, a bit sketchy around the corners or you're not as good at acceleration, it'll be good. Like, down here will be fun as well. We're going, like, 35 at, like, 100 watts. So I imagine we'll be doing 40, 45. Slide downhill about minus 1%, it says, which is probably about right. Um, so, yeah, you could imagine, um, again... Nothing much will happen. There might, I, I, I could be wrong, and it could be super aggressive down here, but I just don't really think so, because with minus 1% gradient, the draft will be so easy. Like You will have to really attack and start wheeling across the road in order to uh, halt the people from just hopping on your wheels straight away. Um, but yeah, we're just turning up to a left-hand corner here, which is pretty sharp, um, and I'd say it will be one of those things where... If you, again, it will be both those corners, if you really rip out of them, you could cause quite a lot of damage, um, potentially. It just depends how big the field is, and also it depends how um, how, how tired and how strung it out is before, because if everyone's just resting now. So you saw that sign where it's saying it was pretty much back on yourself, so here we go, I took that corner. Uh, not too wide, to be honest, um, which is, which is, I guess, in the race, people will probably go onto the other side of the road, which is not advisable but i believe he will do it anyway again this is really flat road super fast we had a real big tailwind down here we're getting up to 30 k's an hour 31 k's an hour um at very minimal power um which is nice this might be a slight uphill so i think it could probably be about one percent uphill um but nothing really tiring um i think we do a couple race simulations we do a bit of swapping off turns here which is always nice just practicing make, trying to show tori what you do or whatever because um, she's some, a bit new, hasn't raced before. But uh, yeah, it was good. We did a couple of tacks, a couple of sprints, just to you know, see how the legs were. Louis loves a good old sprint, so he's always he's always off the front doing a, a cheeky little sprint. Uh, and we're, I'm just trying to keep a decent endurance pace. Um, so you can see here, Tori goes for a little tack, Louis is chasing, and I'm like, all right. And I'm like, if you're gonna if you're gonna get an attack on this bit, because the road is so narrow, you're really gonna have to weave across the road, which is what Louis does in a minute. And it's so annoying people weaving across the road, like actually incredibly annoying because you there's just no way like look here he goes and like i remember to do 400 watts in his draft and it was just absolutely horrible um so yeah i i guess people we do that but um, maybe they weren't anyway lewis joined us finally wrote a bit of commentary what what do you think of the race course old mate i think the race course looks good i'm excited i'm really excited actually like it hurt it hurt going around like i wasn't expecting like me and charlie were talking before like oh you know it's not much climbing like bradbury had more climbing but to be honest like right like having ridden it it you know it hurts the legs so I think it'd be interesting. There's a lot of flat, um, as Charlie said, or very very shallow gradient. So I'm looking forward to that and how fast the yeah. race might be. This will be fast. Um, but yeah, it'll be good to do. You know, a good 50k. 
road race, and this will be my first road race, so I'm really excited. Yeah, it'll be good good seeing the, the whole vegan crew out. It'll be really funny to see how we will do. Um, the downhill will be super fast getting into the final, so you really need to be in pretty good, good position here because I, I could imagine it might be hard to move up uh, in this situation. I guess people might even be spinning out because it's like we were doing 35 at like 150 watts, so if you were doing three, 400 watts on the front, you'd be in like 55, 60 k's an hour. Potential. Like 46 at less than... Well, around yeah. about 200, so it's going to be a very um, But we've got the sharp left hander coming up in a minute, and it was extremely gravelly. Hopefully they will clean it. Um, they'll like sweep it out, because otherwise people will definitely crash. Uh, but again, this is... I mean, I'm not really sure what will happen. It could be super attacking. I just don't know. But um, what do you think, Louis? Do you think people will be attacking, or do you think it will just be a classic C-grade? There will be able to sit in and not really do much. Uh, it depends. It really depends on the experience of the riders racing. Um, I think there will be plenty of attacks, personally. Um, but all the races I've done, people just spend a lot of time sitting in. So, yeah. so I think it'll be a fair bit of each. Uh, but as you said, yeah, that corner, I'm not looking forward to it. And especially the hill that comes after it, it's just not pleasant. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you almost want to be first first or second wheel into this corner because you have to go extremely wide. And then this would basically be the full gas sprint up this climb uh, in order to get the win. So I'd say you probably, you probably want to be second or third wheel going to that corner. You think that's right? Or, or further back? Second or third wheel, yeah, I would I would always advise being close to the front um, because when everyone's, you know, full gas at the end, it's really hard to catch up on people. So I would say second or third wheel, you don't want to be at the front. You definitely don't want to be at the front. Yeah, there's no so way you can do that. If you're, if you're one of the first five to come around the corner, you've got a good shot at it. Um, yeah. So all right, yeah, that was that was the race, race course, pretty beaut. Um, the highlight video should be up on uh, Saturday or Sunday. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.